Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. An acclaimed portrait painter, Joseph Henry Bush, died this day, January 11th in 1865. He had grown up in Frankfort, Kentucky, the son of a tavern keeper and artist. From 1814 to 1817, Bush studied under the famed American artist Thomas Sully in Philadelphia, an apprenticeship financed by fellow Kentuckian Henry Clay. In 1818, however, he began his journey south, particularly to Natchez and New Orleans, and by 1845, the Times-Picayune newspaper described the young artist as having been a long resident of Natchez. While his early work had a neoclassical elegance, he developed his own personal style, one described as a rich interpretation of romanticism, highly colored and composed. Bush completed a number of portraits for wealthy families in the Natchez district, but the artist is perhaps best known for his portrait of President Zachary Taylor, which today hangs in the White House. Hi, I'm Lucy Ann Wood. I'm standing in front of my husband's great-great-grandfather who came to the Nat Natchez district in 1805. He was painted by Joseph Henry Bush. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.